What's up, guys? Dave here with Fight Bananas and News Just In. Let me push a button. You ready? Uh, boom. There we go. So News Just In, Ravi Lawler, the ruthless one, is out of this Saturday's UFC 282. Like, we needed any more negative news on this card, man. This is uh, on the pay-per-view card. There's a little bit of breaker. He's fighting, you know, supposed to fight Santiago uh, Ponzinzibio. Ponzinzibio. I think I nailed it. Um, he's out. They are looking for a replacement fighter. I think they need one. We like the prelims. There's a couple prelims I actually like a lot, but they need to add some juice to this pay-per-view card. They lost their main event. You know, they lost Yuri and Glover. So I think they need some juice, um, you know, back into the card. So I got three opponents that I think uh, would add juice to the main card. I think they're all great fights against Santiago. So these are three names. Tell me what you think. First name, how about this past weekend, UFC zone, UFC Orlando zone, Phil Rowe. Phil Rowe blew up the scene from Orlando with a third-round TKO win against Nico Price. I love the momentum that Phil Rowe's on. That's three straight wins in the welterweight division. This is a big step up in competition. I know it's a short-notice fight, but to me, it's a no-lose situation. How about Phil Rowe uh, versus Santiago? Phil's got a lot of juice to him, a lot of momentum. I like that fight a lot. Hopefully, his uh, weight's around the uh, spot. Maybe they can even catch weight at 180, 175, something of that nature. But I like Rowe versus Santiago. That's one. How about number two? Maybe the most underrated fighter on the UFC roster, future UFC Hall of Famer, won on UFC Orlando just this past weekend. Did not take any damage at all. Talking about RDA. Uh, he just logged the most minutes in UFC's history. He just, uh, you know, passed Frankie Edgar on that record. I love that fight a lot. How about RDA versus Santiago? Um, RDA is usually a... Um, not a big 170 or so. I would assume his weight is close. RDA can make a statement. Two big wins, uh, Bam Bam Barbarina, and then versus Santiago. That's a big statement to end the year versus RDA. Like I said, one of the most underrated fighters on the roster. How about that? RDA on the pay-per-view. There we go. And third, last, and I like this one a lot. He just said it on Twitter underneath this, uh, you know, the post from um, Brett. How about our guy, lightweight Terrence McKinney? Uh, I know, so weight should not be a problem. Uh, he has a lot of juice. You know him and Patty have been squatting back and forth. They'll be on the same pay-per-view card. I think that's even the feature spike, so they'll be right next to each other. Terrence McKenney brings juice wherever he goes. How about McKenney steps up? Uh, win streak, uh, weight's not an issue. Uh, young youth, pay-per-view draw. How about McKenney? Terrence McKenney, T-Rex versus Santiago Pinsambio. I like this a lot. Guys. Definitely disappointed. Anytime you can see the Robbie Lawler, we, we are not um, for sure how many fights he's got left in the tank. So anytime he's off the card, it's sad. But well, there's an opportunity here. All three of these, to me, are the same fight or even better than uh, Lawler. Phil Rowe won. Two is RDA, Rafael Dos Santos. And third is T-Rex, our guy, Terrence McKenney. There we go. News just in. We're bringing it to you hot. Fight Bananas, I'm Dave Anok, and make sure you see our sponsor right there, the MMA Shark, one of the best MMA handicappers in the industry. Go to the MMAShark.com today. All right, we're out. We'll talk to you soon. Later.